The Crawley family and their servants are coming back soon. The sequel to the 2019 film will be released on March 18, 2022, and according to the already available pieces of information, we're about to see a very dramatic continuation. Without any further ado, here's how Lady Mary, Lady Edith, and Tom Branson's story will carry on. It'll be called Downton Abbey – A New Era the official name for the film was announced this summer, and the first photos from the new film are already here. Laura Haddock is one of the new characters, Marina Dalglish, and Michael Fox will play Andy. Hugh Bonneville is back as Robert Grantham, and Michelle Dockery as Lady Mary. Sophie McShera stars as Daisy and Leslie Nicole stars as Mrs. Patmore. Harry Haddon Patton stars as Bertie Pelham, Laura Carmichael as Lady Edith, Tippence Middleton as Lucy Smith and Alan Leach as Tom Branson. According to Focus Features, the original principal cast will all once again return for the second film and there will be new characters as well, including Hugh Dancy, Laura Haddock, Natalie Bay, and Dominic West. But Downton wouldn't be Downton without Lady Mary, Lady Edith, and of course Tom Branson. So guys, here's what we think will happen with the three of them in the future of Downton Abbey. I just want a word with Granny. Lady Mary Mary, a character portrayed by Michelle Dockery, is the family's eldest daughter, and she had a wild life going on during the course of the show. Mary lived in a world where she was practically limited by titles, so she wasn't allowed to say yes to Matthew's proposal at the beginning of Downton. Matthew was the male heir who was to inherit Downton. However, back when he was supposed to become close to Mary, Mary's mother, Cora Crawley, became pregnant with a male child, so Mary's aunt, Lady Rosamond, told her that she shouldn't say yes just yet. Later in the series, Matthew goes to war, and because this is Mary we're talking about, she now changes her mind and wants Matthew again, even though she wasn't sure if she should take him in the first place. She gave up because of us, she said to me when she was dying. Isn't this... A bit later, Mary thought of a simple plan to marry Sir Richard Carlyle. Richard was such a bad person that he blackmailed Mary into marrying her, he knew all about her story with Mr. Pamuk and indirectly said he would expose the story to the newspapers if she lost interest in him. But Richard was not happy with Mary's relationship with Matthew and thankfully Mary talked about Mr. Pamuk to her father so he told her not to worry and dump his A double snakes immediately. Mary and Matthew then got together and he proposed but Matthew lost his life in a car crash and not long after she started getting involved with Henry. We also need to mention that ever since Matthew lost his life, Mary became an entirely different person, Henry was a race car driver, and this was pretty difficult for Mary to accept. Fortunately, Henry was a good person, and he understood her trauma. He was such a good person that he quit his dangerous race car driving profession and opened a car shop instead. He became a stepfather to Mary's son, George, and in the series concluding in the Christmas special, we found out that Mary was pregnant with her first child together. Mary now operates Downton alongside her father, while Henry co-owns Talbot and Branson Motors, with Mary's brother-in-law, Tom Allen Leach. We also know that Michelle Dockery will be back to reprise her role in the sequel of Downton Abbey. Interestingly enough, the creator of the show, Julian Fellows, shared the fate of Lady Mary. He actually spoke about what Mary's life will be like about 30 years from now. Because of how she treated Lady Edith, Mary is often described as the worst character in the show. And we have to ask you if you agree. Now let's continue with her future. In an interview with Deadline, Fellows said that Mary's business understanding will help keep the Crawley estate steady. My own belief is that Mary, whether you like her or dislike her, is a hard worker and she's practical, Fellows explains. I think she'll employ the kind of advice that she needs to manage the estate. She would probably have opened the house to the public in the 1960s, as so many of them did, and she'd have retreated to a wing and maybe only occupied the whole house during the winters. According to us, Mary will stay the same, selfish but not so heartless person despite what period of time we're talking about, she'll never change, and she'll always find herself a priority. What do you guys think Mary's future would be like? Let us know. Now let's continue with a sister that offered more empathy. Will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? Yes. Lady Edith after six seasons of dealing with all kinds of struggles, Lady Edith finally found happiness. In the last episode of the series, the middle Crawley daughter marries Bertie Pelham. This brings her the title of Marchioness of Hexham, a position that surpasses everyone else in her family. However, Edith's happiness was almost destroyed by no one else but her own sister, Mary. Mary actually tried to ruin her sister's life by revealing Mary Gold's true identity to Bertie. The news of Edith's daughter was quite a surprise to Edith's fiancé, and he actually broke off the engagement. 
but Edith and Bertie got back together and had one of the most beautiful weddings in Downton. Now let's talk about Edith's future in the series. As we already know, Violet isn't well and sadly she might lose her life in the sequel. In the first film, she tells her granddaughter Mary that she suffers from an unknown illness and she says she considers Mary her heir. In the future, you'll be the frightening old lady of Downton, you're the best of me that will live on. This wouldn't affect Edith as she doesn't really care about who will lead Downton. In another surprise, there will be a new arrival in Downton Abbey too, Edith's child. What we know so far is that no matter what, Edith will stay the most powerful one in the future. And most importantly, she'll continue her life by offering help where needed. Do you know what else Edith would do? She would smack that like button. Now seriously, let's talk about Tom Branson. Let him go, let him go. You know he's right. Don't stop him doing the only sensible thing he's coming. Downton Abbey star Alan Leach, who played Tom Branson in all six seasons of the most successful period drama series, has revealed that the conclusion of his character's story in 2015's season finale wasn't really satisfying. In an interview with Hello Magazine, the actor said, When you think you've said goodbye to a character, to be able to go back is a gift. I felt and I think a lot of the fans felt that Tom never got the ending he deserved. I'm happy to say that I think he does in the first film. In Downton Abbey 2019, Tom Branson and Lucy Smith, a character portrayed by Tuppence Smiddleton, fell in love with each other. Lucy is the illegitimate daughter of Lady Maud Bagshaw, a character portrayed by Imelda Staunton, but fans discovered this in the 2019 film. By the end of Downton Abbey 2019, the bond between Tom and Lucy became quite strong and Lady Violet planned their marriage just so Tom could have a solid future. Meanwhile, the first film also had a bit of romance downstairs. Daisy, portrayed by Sophie McChera, was already engaged to Andy Parker when the Downton Abbey TV series ended. However, she realized he's the one in the film. We should mention that the first trailer for Downton Abbey 2 is finally here and Lucy Smith is listed as Lucy Branson. Another thing that a new era shows is Lucy and Tom's splendid wedding. So we might see two weddings in the second film, the first one between Daisy and Andy and the second one between Tom and Lucy. Downton Abbey creator Julian Fellows shared that fans are about to see an unshamedly feel-good movie. He told people, It's really a new era. The further of the 20s went along, the more the world was changing in so many ways. Everything from entertainment to transport was really different by the end of the 20s. That's what we're referring to in that. As we know from the last film, Mary may not be the Tyler ahead of the household, but she's effectively running the show. When it comes to Tom, he'll hopefully lead a very happy life with Lucy. Tough, and I'm not sure if this is the right way. If you just come with me. What's your part in this circus? I'm Lady Bagshaw. What do you guys think will happen to these three characters? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.